In this episode, we're going to show you the tools we take for overlanding and off-roading. This is Wanderlust Overland. Overland. Now you probably noticed that Mary said overlanding and off-roading. There is a difference. When off-roading, our goal is to test our rig's capabilities as well as our driving skills, resulting in the likelihood of breaking something. Overlanding takes a different approach. Although we're often off-road, our goal is to not break our rig. So we take uh, much more conservative lines when approaching obstacles, or avoid them altogether. The differences between the two are slight. Uh, first we'll go through what we carry when we're overlanding, then we'll talk about the additions we make for off-roading. And of course there is a huge range of overlanding styles. And none of them are wrong. From a weekend at the state park where help is just a phone call away, to getting so far off the beaten path that you either have to fix it yourself or take a long walk. This is what we take along. We like to use these roll-ups. They help keep down the rattles and they provide a nice clean area to lay everything out on. Or you can lay everything out on an orange box fab hatch table. Now one of the most common and frustrating repairs we have to make is electrical. Normally not the stock wiring, but the stuff that we add on like lights, uh, compressor, whatever. This is what we carry to uh, make those repairs. In it we have electrical tape, we have some spare wires, uh, we have all kinds of different connections, stuff that we have on the truck already to, for replacements, connectors, fuses, all sorts of amperage and sizes and uh, we have this tester also. Other common repairs range from tightening up nuts and bolts that have come loose to fixing a stove and even fixing a tent zipper. Okay so this is what we bring along with us a full combination wrench set, a socket set with a ratchet and a piece of pipe to make it a breaker bar and extensions, a short and a long extension for that, um, a big screwdriver doubles as a pry bar, we got needle nose pliers, regular pliers, uh, channel locks, vice grips big and a needle nose. What is this down in here? Oh, that'll come later. Anyways, uh, a utility knife with a sharp blade. This is uh, for making our electrical connections and, and uh, trimming wires. A crescent wrench, um, a combination screwdriver. It's got Phillips large and small and a uh, flat, large and small, a cold chisel, a punch, and these are some extra S-clips for our sway bar disconnects on the FJ. Next up are a few repair items. In this little case we've got a set of cheap jumper cables and a variety of zip ties and hose clamps. In this one this is our tire repair kit. These are some replaceable valve stems. With these you don't have to take the tire off the bead and get in behind. These you can just, I don't know, we haven't used them yet. Hopefully we'll never have to use them. But this is a complete tire repair kit with the reamer, the thing to get the valve stems out, uh, glue, we've used this a few times. Some more needle nose, a uh, valve stem, bunch of patches, everything you need. Other things we take along is a fistful of rags. This does a lot of things. This mops up our messes off the ground, cleans our hands, and we stuff it in the toolbox to keep everything from rattling. A ratchet strap for ratcheting up whatever is falling off. 
Uh, of course, duct tape, another thing to keep things from falling off. It's always nice to carry a spare serpentine belt. This is an old used one, but it, it'll it'd get us out. Uh, some silicone sealant and adhesive, some gel super glue, brake fluid, of course, just in case you have a line blow. Uh, you have this to fill it back up. You can clamp it off with the vice grips. Uh, we have a quarter inch ratchet set in here, along with uh, Allen wrenches. And this is a, uh, a brake line wrench. What this does is it has more contact points for taking a stuck brake line off, a steel brake line. Our Toyotas have an issue with caliper sticking, so it's always nice to be able to get those lines loose to replace that. Um, normally we have a roll of wire, uh, but I don't see it right now, but wire for, again, hanging a exhaust pipe up that's, that's where the hangers have come loose, whatever. Um, it's always good to have. I don't know where it is. And a spark plug socket, just in case we do something stupid and we need to get the plugs out so we can get the water out of the cylinders so we don't hydrolock the engine. Then all of this fits in this mortar can. Believe it or not, it does. Now we always carry a high lift jack with us not for changing out tires, but for recovery situations. For changing tires, we just rely on the factory jack that com comes with the vehicle. It works just fine and is a whole lot safer. On the subject of changing tires, make certain you have a socket that fits your lug nuts. Our FJ takes a special one. We keep it in the glove box at all times. Now for our off-roading trips, we carry all this plus some replacement parts. Now what you should carry is absolutely vehicle dependent. One glove. Now you can't carry replacement parts for everything in your drivetrain and suspension. Do some research and find out what your vehicle's weak points are, what's most likely to break, and how to fix or replace it. This is a replacement axle. And then we have to have all the tools to change it out. First off is, to, is a big socket to get our axle nut off. And then we use a slide hammer to pull the old axle out. And then uh, when you pull the axle out, you're gonna lose some fluid out of the differential. So we have to have rags to soap that up. Then to replace the fluid, this is a hex socket or hex wrench to get the fill plug out of the differential. Then we have a gear lube and a hose that hooks on here in order to get that lube into the differential. We also have a spare axle nut for some reason. Uh, we have a spare hub and bearing assembly and tie rod ends. Our rear lower links are in kind of a vulnerable spot, so we carry an extra one just in case. Why do we have a disposable rain poncho in here? Why don't we? At the end of the day, everyone's toolkit's gonna be a little different, but hopefully by showing you ours, it'll give you some ideas and get you going down the right path. So I guess the best advice we can give you is to get to know your vehicle. Without knowing just the basics of how things work, all the fancy tools in the world won't get it fixed. In the comment section below, add your tool list or additions. And before you leave, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and or like us on Facebook and follow, follow, follow us, us on, on Instagram. Instagram. Uh, first, we'll start with what we take with over... Oh, almost. In the comment section below... In the comment section below, give us your tools... Tool list. Give us your, give us your tools. <laughs> give us your tools, damn it. 
And of course, there is a huge... Uh... In the comments below, be sure to give us your tool list or additions. And before you leave, be sure, be sure again. Okay. Oh, you're on a roll. Keep going. <laughs> and be sure, before you leave, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Ah! Okay.